We've got our 1954 Chevy. We've got this thing on the road and uh, we're excited. We finally have a name for it. Uh, the good thing is that we've got a name for it. The bad thing is that we got the input of my four-year-old, my eight-year-old, and my nine-year-old. So they named the truck Jalapeno Pepper. Pepper for short, but Jalapeno Pepper. I was looking for something a little different than that, but that's the name that we all agreed upon. We said, you know what, we're going to do it, Jalapeno Pepper. Let's just roll with it and keep on trucking. Um, but this, the rest of this video, we've got a lot of other things that we've done. We actually got it running. We got it on the road. We take it on its first drive. Uh, we park it where one of these things is not like the others and, uh, and just have a blast with this truck, finally getting some, some street time on it. So first off, we're going to kick in. We made a glove box. You know, these trucks, they come with a, an old, pretty much cardboard glove box. It's the most oddly shaped thing. It's got screw holes that go through it. And after 60 years, guess what? It falls, falls apart. So we uh, slapped some metal together here. You can see this picture with my incredibly bad welding. So I bought a Harbor Freight welder just to teach myself how to weld. It's got, uh, it's just a flux core welder. And so I was actually pretty stoked because this thing didn't fall apart. It held together in one piece and, uh, and was able to bolt in and be used. But I was looking because it's all metal, um, sprayed it. I, you don't see a picture, but I sprayed it black on the outside, uh, actually on both sides, and then had some extra dynamat laying around. So I stuck some dynamat in there just so it wasn't this nasty metal glove box, which is better than a nasty old cardboard glove box. But there you go, a couple shots, got that put in, and um, you know just needed something to hold hold some of the stuff that's that is was rolling around on the floorboard. Then we got to the heater. Now the heater box goes behind this glove box and the heater box uh, we pulled out a while ago. I don't have any videos or pictures of it, but it needed a new motor. And because we are converting the truck from six volt to 12 volt, we needed a 12 volt uh, motor or heater core, not heater core, sorry, 12 volt motor. The heater core also was still functional, but we got it sealed and, and re, uh, you'll see it in a minute. Um, the 12 volt heater that we got, you'll see a picture here. This is the, uh, this is the model number and all this, the specifics of it. Uh, you can see this next shot here. This is just it kind of mocked up in place. As I took all this stuff apart, I, uh, sanded down lightly all of the rust that was on this and spray painted it with the silver metallic high heat paint. I figured it needed to be high heat just because it's a heater, uh, go figure. And uh, anyway, so all of these shots you'll see piece by piece, you know, it's just painting three or four coats of paint uh, on each piece and trying not to cover up any spot that needed to be rubber or anything like that. So, so you can see here, we've got our new cage mounted onto the new heater motor and actually bolted into the assembly. Uh, there's another shot there with the wires hanging out and we keep going. Now we're kind of mocking up the, uh, the heater core. You can see we had it, uh, we had it cleaned out on the inside. There's a radiator guy right down the street from us that specializes in radiators and heater cores. So he goes through, checks it for any pinholes, make sure that it's all sealed up. It's all good to go. Coats it with this black stuff that makes it not fall apart and rust in the next 60 years, which is great. Mocked it up in place. It looked good. And so we keep going now, we're gonna to start to mount it in there. And then unfortunately I don't have any pictures of the putting all the 62 screws back in. It seems like it was 62 screws, but here you can see we've got it uh, back together and, and just kind of setting up right. You've got that side vent on the next shot there. That side vent is what brings in fresh air from the outside of the fender. And, uh, and then the inside vent there as well. So we keep going and just a couple other shots here before it gets mounted back in. So that's the heater core, the heater box. Uh, we got that mounted in underneath our new glove box. It's not gonna be plumbed in yet to the radiator. I just needed to get this 
kind of cleaned up and ready to go so that then I can refit some, uh, some, some hoses from the radiator and all the coolant and everything. So the next job was to pull the radio. And th this thing is crazy. So from somebody who's been in car audio for 20 plus years to see this original 1954 uh, AM FM radio was pretty historic, um, kind of dinosaurish. And the speaker, although it was pretty dry rotten and eaten up, it actually wasn't too bad. I'm sure it could still function on some level. Um, but anyway, so here's a couple shots of this AM radio. And, and you can see there the speaker that we set up just on top of, of the radio. Uh, and then here is the hole. This is where it came from in the dashboard and an even more close-up shot. So now I've got the speaker that's out from behind the grill. And uh, that radio is just massive and was taking up a gob of space back there. And now we can enforce our no child labor laws. And you can see my daughter underneath. She was helping me do some, uh, replace a couple bulbs in my gauges and uh, fitting herself nicely under there. And after this, we got the truck running. Yay, it's running. So that's a little shot of it running. You can see the uh, the radi you can see the radiator hose that we just got piped right there on the engine, as opposed to running into the um, into the heater core and all that stuff. But here's the truck. This is this is my first day driving this thing to work. Uh, I work for a major bank here that's uh, located in my area, and driving this farm truck looking guy, uh, jalapeno pepper. Hey, hey, jalapeno pepper, driving pepper into work um, was exciting. So here's a snapshot with the sunshine coming up. And then we take it on down to the office. And here you can see we park under the shade tree because that's what you do when you're a shade tree mechanic. You park in the spot that's going to keep that, that old truck as cool as possible. And uh, yeah, another, another shot just because it's funny that that whole like, okay, one of these cars does not look like the others. Which one's out of place? But it was a blast. Uh, drove the thing at about 60 miles an hour on the interstate. So anyway, had a blast. Uh, got a lot of stuff done. Got to drive this thing to the office. Uh, stink up the parking lot with a, with a carbureted engine and just have fun with this thing. We've got some other projects coming up. I got to take this thing to the hardware store. And uh, anyway, we're going to leave you with this. A little shot of American... Uh, American truck there and that's it for right now I'm gonna sign off and we'll catch you in the next video see ya